The trailer for Justice League vs. Teen Titans is out, and we can't wait to see the super team square off. But first, DC All Access is here to get down to the nitty gritty of what we can learn from the Titans going toe to toe with the league. Okay, we've already got a city in flames and a black eyed Superman beating the crap out of Lex Luthor in a super suit. A romantic comedy this is not. This matchup has been brewing ever since Superman first appeared in 1938's Action Comics number one, and Lex Luthor joined him in 1940. Black stuff creeping up the bodies of the Justice Leaguers is no bueno. Here we see Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and Cyborg who are all part of the Justice League team that was founded in 2011's Justice League No. 1. What the hell? Our thoughts exactly. This is our first look at the Teen Titans. We've got Jaime Reyes as Blue Beetle, Damian Wayne as Robin, and Raven brooding in the corner. The Titans were formed in the Brave and the Bold number 54 in 1964 and was comprised of the teenage sidekicks of the Justice League. Robin is traditionally the leader of the team in the comics, and this is Damien's first appearance as part of the Titans in the DC animated universe. Father! Get back! You've never met a monster with Trigon. This is Trigon, looking like a horrible monster from the worst nightmare imaginable, so I'm sufficiently terrified. Trigon is a powerful demon who debuted in the new Teen Titans number 5 in 1981. In the comics, he's Raven's father, but they aren't on the best terms. Raven even formed a version of the Titans in the new Teen Titans number 1 to prevent Trigon from conquering Earth. He'll bring hell on Earth. Here's Cyborg with the team. He was originally a Titan when he first appeared alongside Starfire and Raven in DC Comics Presents in 1980. He was later promoted to the Justice League, but we'll never forget his Titan roots. You dare challenge us. Ready when you are. I thought you hated us. This is our first look at Beast Boy, also known as Changeling in the comics. He first appeared in Doom Patrol number 99 in 1965. Later, he joined the West Coast arm of the Teen Titans, known as Titans West, in 1977's Teen Titans number 50. I'm a Titan. We're not in Kansas anymore. You can say that again. Not so fast, Flash. This four-eyed look reminds us of a new Teen Titans storyline from 1984 called The Terror of Trigon, where Trigon possessed Raven and doubled her ocular intake. Also, we should note that the Teen Titans have battled the Justice League multiple times in the comics, including the new Teen Titans No. 4 in 1981, 1999's The Technus Imperative, and Teen Titans No. 6 in 2004. If we can't save our own. Jaime Reyes first appeared in Infinite Crisis No. 3 in 2006, and he became Blue Beetle two issues later. He's the third character to assume the mantle and gains his powers from an ancient scarab that provides him with his badass armor. Reyes can use the Scarab to create whatever he wants, like this handy dandy shield. Who can we save? That's so Raven. And by that, I mean manifesting her soul self as a force field. Raven starred in a solo miniseries written by Marv Wolfman in 2008 called DC Special Raven, which focused on the battle to save her high school. Flash fans might think this is Gorilla Grodd, but this is Beast Boy showing off his ability to morph into any animal he wants. One of our favorite Beast Boy moments is in 2004's Teen Titans number 15, when the zookeeper stole Beast Boy's powers and they faced off in a Wild Kingdom battle royale. Hold it, this looks suspiciously like a boom tube, which is primarily used by the new gods in the comics to travel through space and between dimensions. Normally, you'd need a mother box to open a boom tube, but given that Cyborg's technology is derived from a mother box, he can create them himself. Titans, go! Starfire belts out the classic Teen Titans rallying call and unleashes one of her signature star bolts. In the comics, she's from the planet Tamaran and got some of her powers through experiments that a group of evil aliens performed on her. Yeah, right. Like you got a way to take out Superman. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, I think he does. That's a breakdown of the trailer. Make sure you click subscribe so you stay in the know on everything going on in the world of DC.